All right, guys. So for today's video, we have a little case of liar, liar, pants on fire. I know that uh, Donut makes these videos and he uses that same title and I'm not trying to copy him. It's just, I can't, I'm not smart enough to think of anything else to say. So we're going to go with liar, liar, pants on fire. Who is the liar, liar with his pants on fire? Well, I want to start off today's video by saying thank you to the NYPD or the New York Police Department's social media team, because they have been on top of calling out people for their lies and exposing their lies and posting body camera footage on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all of the places that you would expect to see body camera stuff posted when people are making up lies about them. The person that is making up lies about the NYPD today, or at least on the date that this occurred, this was January the 26th, 2024 at approximately 620 in the PM. That person is this guy right here, which when I, when I edit the actual video, I'll probably get a bigger picture so I can just put it up on the screen. But uh, his name is Yusuf Salam. Uh, and I haven't looked too deeply into the case, but he's one of the the uh, Times Square, or not Times Square, the Exonerated Five, the, uh, what do they call it, the Central Park Five, these uh, five young male blacks that were arrested and convicted wrongly, uh, apparently. So he is a guy that is hell-bent on destroying the police department and now he is a city council member well what happened on this particular day was he was pulled over for having a uh, an unregistered out-of-state vehicle with window tint that was too dark he was pulled over by nypd and after being pulled over he released this statement right here um <clears throat> it says salam said he and his wife, or he was driving with his wife and family and was pulled over. He released a statement. It says, I introduced myself as Councilman Yusuf Salam and subsequently asked the officer why I was pulled over. Instead of answering my question, the officer stated, we're done here and presented to walk away. The fact that the officer did not provide rationale for the stop, uh, which would have only been legal at level three within reasonable suspicion, or higher is required for vehicle stops. Uh, calls into question how the NYPD justifies stops, uh, stops of New Yorkers and highlights the need for greater transparency to ensure they are constitutional. Uh, this experience only amplified the importance of transparency for all police investigative stops because the lack of transparency allows racial profiling and unconstitutional stops to occur. So what he is saying is he's like, listen, I was stopped by NYPD and I asked for a reason for the stop. They didn't give me a reason for the stop. They just turned around and said, we're done here. Said, this is the reason we need greater transparency because these kind of stops lead to uh, racial profiling and yada, yada, yada. Well, if you ask for uh, greater transparency, you're going to get greater transparency. And we are going to watch this greater transparency together, all 41 seconds of it. So here is an NYPD officer in his cruiser. He had just pulled his salon and he's gonna walk up to the car. Roll the back one for me too. Can you roll your back window, please. Hey, hello, I'm Officer Kentucky from the 2-6 Precinct. I'm Council Member Salon. Oh, um, Council Member? This district, district 9. Oh, okay. Uh, Have a good one. Yeah. yeah. You're working, right? Uh, yeah, I'm working. I'm working. All right. Take care, sir. <laughs> so that was it. That was the traffic stop. That was the traffic stop that caused this dirt bag to come out. I'm going to do this because this picture's right here. Uh, this dirt bag to come out and release this statement demanding greater transparency um this is the kind of stuff that absolutely must be called out whenever it occurs and i applaud the nypd for having the balls to come out here and call this guy out not only have they called him out but it's actually leading to a lot of people calling for him to resign after he blatantly lied about the traffic stop if you were paying attention, the officer clearly walked up. Uh, as soon as the officer realized that he was talking to a council member, he didn't harass him. He didn't do anything further. He said, oh, and you're working? Go ahead and have a good day. Now, as for the, um, what was his claim about the window tent needing to be level three or something like that? Me Let's too. Go back right here. 
This is what the officer was looking at. This is the amount of window tint the officer was looking at. If you have a problem with window tint legislation, then change the legislation so that officers can no longer use it as a reason to pull cars over. Uh, if you want to have windows that are completely blacked out, go ahead and make that the law. Uh, it's a pretty un unsafe thing to do, but you're a lawmaker. You have the power and the authority to do that. Um, but if an officer can't see into your windows, he then has probable cause to stop you. He can then call for someone with a window tent meter or go to his car, get a tent meter and measure your tent. Uh, if it's level three or however it is that uh, the state of New York judges window tent, he can either issue a ticket or he will not issue a ticket. That is probable cause. You don't need probable cause to pull over a car. You need reasonable suspicion to pull over a car. Uh, this guy, Mr. Where is his stupid name? Yusuf Salam is out there spreading lies about NYPD making shit up when this was a case where the officer was very cordial with a guy, very respectful, very nice. Um, it, it's an absolute insult and a slap in the face to that officer who treated him with such dignity and respect to come out and talk about him this way. Uh, but this is how people like him operate. This is how the people, the majority of people that are out there yelling and screaming and calling for police reform, this is how they act. They are completely disconnected from reality and they refuse to accept the fact that officers are actually out there doing a good job, doing things legally, doing things the way the public expects them to do it. Um, and these calls, I'll go back to here. Um, these calls right here where he's calling for more transparency or says that the lack of transparency allows for more racial profiling and all this other stuff. You know, they're always out there making these claims, saying that we need more transparency, that we need more oversight, more civilian oversight, that police aren't being held accountable, this, that, and the other thing. Um, here's the thing. With all of the more oversight and the more police accountability and all these other things that you keep adding, we are not finding more and more bad officers. The, the, the cases that are making the news and the officers that are going to trial and all that, they're not being discovered because of all this additional scrutiny and stuff that is being put on. Uh, the way the officers are, that are currently being prosecuted and all this other stuff are through the same old means that we always had before. With all the additional scrutiny and the civilian review boards and stuff, the only thing that we're actually seeing is an increase of false allegations. Um, I know that that's been 100% true of the civilian oversight committee on my department. They, they freaking, they freaking said that an officer, uh, by use bias based profiling and they they lied about the race of a teenager said that he was black when he was white in order to try to frame an officer for bias based profiling when he did absolutely wrong nothing wrong um this is what's happening to our police agencies and this is also a reason why police officers are afraid to go out and do their job this officer did absolutely nothing wrong the only thing that this officer did was observe a vehicle with out-of-state ta tags um, with extremely dark windows, executed a traffic stop exactly as he was supposed to do, gave a driver a warning. And for some reason, that wasn't enough for this guy. He doesn't like warnings. Uh, perhaps the officer should have gone ahead and written him a ticket and impounded his car for being unsafe. Uh, maybe if he had done that, then none of this would have happened. I don't really know. Um, but I don't know. It, this I, I'm done with this. I just wanted to highlight this case as another example of these kind of morons out there lying about the police because the majority of the negative press about the police is in fact a lie. That's it for me today. I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah.